Chapter 9 Birbal Goes to Heaven Emperor Akbar's Court The king is getting his hair cut. The royal barber does not like Birbal. So he makes a wicked plan to kill him. Jahapana, last night I dreamt that I met your father, His Majesty, in heaven. Is that so? Tell me more about your dream. Is my father happy there? Does he need anything? He is fine, Jahapana. But he said that he needed a witty and clever person to entertain him and make him laugh. He feels sad sometimes. Oh, I must take care of my father's happiness. But how can I send someone to heaven alive? Jahapana, I know a magician who sends living people to heaven. Bring the magician to my court. I will send Birbal to heaven to entertain my father. He is the wittiest person I know. As soon as the royal barber leaves, Akbar summons Birbal to his court. Birbal, my father appeared in my barber's dream. He said that he needed someone witty who could entertain him. You must go to heaven to make him happy. Sure, Your Majesty, I am ready to go to heaven, but I need some time to prepare for the long journey. Birbal secretly digs a tunnel in a garden near his house. He returns to the palace after two weeks. I am ready for my journey, Your Majesty. A holy man told me that the shortest path to heaven is from the garden near my house. All right, Birbal. I will ask the magician to send you to heaven from there. On the day of the journey, Emperor Akbar, Birbal, the magician, the barber and other courtiers gather in the garden. Birbal escapes through the secret tunnel and hides in his house for some months. He grows his hair and beard. Birbal returns to the palace after six months. My dear Birbal, you are back from heaven. How is my father? Your father was very happy to see me, Your Majesty. He is doing well. He has an important message for you. What is it, Birbal? Your Majesty, he does not have a barber in heaven. Look how my hair and beard have grown. He wants you to send your royal barber to heaven. The barber realizes that his evil plan has failed. Please forgive me, Jahapana. I don't want to die. Emperor Akbar understands the barber's wicked plan. He orders the guards to arrest him. Akbar rewards Birbal well for his wit and patience. Birbal, please forgive me. You could have died if you had obeyed my orders blindly. You are truly the wittiest person in my court. Thank you, Your Majesty.